Hello, everyone. Welcome back to this channel. Mm -hmm. But you our keep channel. forgetting to welcome those who this could be their first time watching one of our videos. Oh, welcome to those who have never been to our channel before. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> well, in this video, we are going to uh, do an ideal Tony doll, but this one's a little different. Yes. Because she's a walker. Yes. All the other dolls that uh, we have done videos on for the Tony dolls were all strung dolls. They were strung. And this is a walker. Yep. And so that means that when um, you move her legs back and forth, her, her head, head turns. Goes. As and her legs go, her head goes like She this. really works. And she's in good but she's condition. Got a, well, <laughs> she's got a little bit of a problem. Right. When we rescued her, she had her wig was so bad that she couldn't keep it no so poor baby's bald i'm looking at her and she's got a I little dress what? on but she's bald but guess what we found oh. her an original yes we did ideal tony wig nylon wig a nylon wig it it's, was for sale online and it was it's gorgeous very you know inexpensive what? too she's like most other women what she used to be a brunette, and now she's a blonde. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Most brunette. Well, yeah. When not personally, I'm happy with my dark brown hair. But yes, you know, I I, I would. She's gonna go blonde. I've never been a blonde person or a, only a natural brunette. I just kind of let my hair do what it does. Yeah. Let's go watch her. Well, we're going to introduce this little girl. She's a walker. She is a vintage Ideal Tony doll walker. 14 inches. Yep. P90. She's the first Tony walker we've ever done. No, she's not. What other one did you You have got the shortest oh, memory. Yes, I forgot. Uh, all about black hair and fur. Yeah. And <laughs> skates. And skates. Yep. Totally forgot she was a walker. But you see, the reason is, is we did that particular doll a very long time yes. ago. Yes. We did. And we're doing this one right now. <laughs> okay. So. Um, Does anybody notice she doesn't have any hair? I think they would have noticed that in the thumbnail. Oh, okay. Good. Okay. Okay. But before we get to that, uh, first, uh, we want to tell everybody that the, uh, we're going to be putting up some videos, but the videos are going to be probably a minute, the minute before and afters, and maybe some that are three to five minutes long. We're not going to be doing a video T this long. Tutorials. The tutorials or the uh, before and afters that are this length for a little while. We, we need to take a little bit of a break. We do. We, um, I say we, because it's both of us, are quite tired and we need to recuperate a little bit, but we will be back with the um, well, hopefully they're not half hours. I do try. I try do. not to have them. Margaret O'Brien's probably going to be our first one when we come back. Yeah, she's a composition now. But anyway, forty-six. Um, just I wanted to say that at the beginning of this video, so that everybody that does watch our videos will know that um, we're going to be doing shorter videos for a while. Just a little while till we can get our breath. So let's get back to this sweet little girl, and that is going to be her wig. And guess where that came from? <laughs> That's a Tony Nylon wig. Yep. Let's see the inside. Look at that. Can you believe I it? I can't believe that that ever came off of another doll, but I guess it did. Well, there are signs of glue here and there. And see, there's glue here. You can see that it must have been. A, yeah, there's it, glue, but whoever time, glued it at the factory did a lousy job. Well, yeah, because <laughs> any wig that you've had to take off. I know. It's had such glue good, everywhere. It's in such good condition, too. And, well, okay, so. It's, right, a, it's a full head. It's a it's full hair. It's, yeah. it's almost as if it wasn't used at all. I know. It's gorgeous. But, but you know, what's really interesting about her? What? If you look at this picture that they put, just put up. She had black hair. She did. And as you can see, it was quite a mess. She didn't have very much of it left. 
and so she donated it to, to another, another doll, doll <laughs> who didn't have a lot, but she had enough. So now we have a two-tone. Yeah, I have a two-tone. And now little Miss Raven or uh, Brunette is going to be a blonde. <laughs> How many black-haired people want to be blondes? <laughs> I know a lot of people. Mm. A lot I, of people want, that brunettes. used to be when I was young, people yeah. wanted to be blondes. Okay. Probably so. not anymore. I don't know. So but she's going to be a blonde. So what we're going to do is we're going to, to show you how we're going to work with this wig. And of course, her face is going to need a little bit of work. Not much. Just a little. Just teeny, teeny, teeny. And then also we're going to show you um, this dress that is going to be repaired. Yes. Now this is a, she's so tiny. The little walkers are a little less girth. Mm -hmm. And here's a little dress that is uh, a dotted Swiss. Boy, we've been doing a lot of those lately. Yeah. Yeah. I and it, it looked. I didn't even know it was. <laughs> and you know what? It looks like it's not much of nothing, but I'm going to tell you when this dress is done, it's going to be gorgeous. Well, I think we ought to get well, here to Here are little walkers sitting in the tub having yeah. Nice spot, eh? Another happy customer. Yes. She, and she is the likes playing with these things. I had to tell her to stop. I don't think she's the one we have to tell. <laughs> you know, she is the second one of our dolls that has had to get, wash her hair, get, watch her hair get <laughs> yes. washed. Yes. Tongue twister. So we're washing with... Uh, well, if you've seen any of our videos, this is you, you've seen this before. We're going to wash it with a little bit of soap. Yes. And then we're going to use a little bit of downy free and gentle as the conditioner. But I thought that you might want to see this one in case you didn't see the sweet Sue who also needed her hair washed while it was off of her head. It's just because it came off when she came here. Yep. She kind of lost it. But this, <laughs> she kind of lost it. Her hair. She did. But this we didn't one, know it when she came, so we... This one, well, this one came off of the doll's head. Yeah. Her original hair just didn't cut the monsters. <laughs> no. Oh. As you saw in those, those pictures, it was not, it could not be saved. No. And how are we doing this? Any different? I'm just, no, we're not doing it any different than I wash it any other time, except there's one nice thing about... Uh, having the wig off their head as a glass or in the conditioner. Well, it's not conditioner, it's softener. It's, it's laundry softener. Well, it's laundry softener. And her hair isn't really dirty, dirty, dirty because the, brown, the water would be so brown. And that's how you can tell that it's not really, really dirty. So this is the easy part. Now let's go watch TV. <laughs> you gonna leave it in there for a little bit? I'm just gonna leave it in there for a little bit. So here's the wig. It's been washed and um, conditioned. And I always look for the stitches to know how I'm going to do her hair. Her hair's gonna go back. Um, but as you can see, it has a memory. Not all nylon wigs have memories. Or the ones that don't were made to be straight, totally straight. She's not made to be totally straight. Oh, they're fighting over a bone. So anyway, so because of, I like the look of her hair and I like it long, I'm going to, um, I'm going to roll her hair in larger rollers with a larger amount of hair and uh, give her a more flowy look. Okay, so what's the difference in um, setting, because you're not going to put this on her head. You're going to set it before you put it on her head. Oh, yeah. I'm setting it right now. Right. Well, we have to explain that, honey. Oh, okay. I'm going to set her hair, let it dry, and then I will put it up. Then I will glue it to her head. Okay. All right. So what is the difference, or is there a difference? It's easier. It's easier to set it when it's not on her head? Well, for me, it is. <laughs> that, that That's just relative to, to whoever's doing it. I, I will do the same thing I do. I'll go down and I'll see if there it needs to be any trimming. I, her hair is is lovely. I see a tiny bit of damage. I'll take care of that. But um, I think her hair is, is... So let's see you put one in. Oh, fine. 
So I'm going to take more hair than I usually take because I, I don't want a real tight curl. And when I roll it, I'm not going to pull it. Okay. So if you watch some of my other um, videos, did you get my... Sp no, you didn't. Okay. And I, I kind of been doing this for a while, dipping my paper in. <laughs> that is, if this is the first time you've ever seen one of these videos, that is an end paper. Yeah, and, and she be, does have a little bit of straggly here. So there will be a uh, link to where you can get these end papers and these sponge rollers. So I usually, um, when I want a tight curl, I'm gonna. I always spread it out. See, when I want a tight curl. I go like this and I pull tight and I pull. And I'm not going to pull because I, not on her wig, I pull against there to tighten it on the roller. But I want a long and flowy um, curl, so I'm just rolling it up. And there you go. So you're going to do that. I'm going backwards because if you. But you're going to do that on all of her hair. Yes but I'm going to only go front. Do you see how her hair goes down here? All these will be rolled this way. All these will be rolled this way, except for the sides that are supposed to go back. Okay. Then, then you roll those backwards. So and if you'd like to see a full tutorial, um, there will be a link in the description, but there should also be a link right about now up at the top. So we will see her hair. <laughs> I'm Excuse just, me. We'll see her hair in curlers next. Well, here's that wig we showed you for the, the walker. And it's been drying for a few days. It's all set. It's the one that look it's pristine. And this is how we dry. Well, that's a new use for a doll stand, right? Oh, yeah. We have lots of uses for doll stands. Actually, though, that. That makes it pretty easy. It allows the air to go up and dry everything quicker. Although this has been sitting for a few days. Right. We've been busy. Mm -hmm. So let's move on. Yeah. What are these? So does that, mean, does that mean I put this stuff over here? I'm done with it. Okay. So, so right over here, right? Yep. There it goes. <laughs> All right. Now what? I'm looking at a dress and a slip. That's right. We have had some several requests from several different people um, how to restore vintage clothing because well they want us they've seen the the um, results of res restoration but they but haven't they seen how see how you do, do it. it so let's see okay so this is a dress that came on I wouldn't know who I do she does but I don't pay attention to those things <laughs> and this is a slip. So there's a lot of things to look at. So well, I that's think first what we should say what? is that this particular dress was on a, a P90. It was? Yeah. Okay. And it was a little bit snug. It was snug on a P90? Yes. Well, that means it'll pit, fit a walker perfectly. Right. Because for some <laughs> reason, the Tony uh, walkers <clears throat> are a little thinner, slim. Slimmer. Right. And that's why this dress fits her really well, and that's why she's getting it. Yes. It looks a little dingy, but you know, if you're that old, I, I'll give you a break here. If you're that old, <laughs> I said nothing. I did. If you're that old, just start to look a little dingy after a while. Okay, so this is a little dingy. It hasn't been washed. It's going to look beautifully bright when we're done. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use. I'm not going to let it soak. Soak in OxyClean. I'm just going to let it soak a little a little while okay? because I don't want to take all this color away. I would like to brighten it. Mm -hmm. And of course, the white, I would like to whiten it. <laughs> so what are you going to do to make this what I'm Well, I'm just going to teach right now. And this is handmade. How do you know it's handmade? There are several ways to find out. And that's why I've got this. Do you see how this lady, she, she really did, she really did a good job. She tried really hard to do a very good job on this dress. So it doesn't have elastic around the sleeves. Oh, that, that was hard work. You know, that was mm -hmm. technical work. And so you look for a whip stitch. She did a hidden whip stitch. Mm. Smart lady. So see right here. Mm -hmm. 
I just whip stitch. <laughs> I don't know if I can hide it like that. You can. I don't know about me. And in those days, look what she did. She finished off. She finished. There's, there's, there's her, her whip stitch. She's got about a quarter inch mm -hmm. all fun. the way up. And all this has to be trimmed. See, folks, we have to trim all that. We have to trim around here. And the trimming is just taking off and, and uh, making it look a little bit uh, less raggedy. But we don't get anywhere near the actual stitching. We're just trimming off threads. Okay. And same way here. She, um, she double stitched. She really didn't want this to unravel. But it has unraveled a little bit just at the top, not the actual dress. So we just go through and cut those extra threads off to make it look cleaner. That's it. And I'm going to do it before we wash. Sometimes I don't. This time we will. And you see all those, all those, can it, everybody see all those stitches? Mm -hmm. I mean, the threads. We're going to just trim those off. But we're, she, see how she double stitched it? I like this lady. I don't know who she was, but I like her. And you see, she just didn't flip it over. She double flipped so that we wouldn't get a lot of this. Mm -hmm. But where she didn't do it was around the sleeves. And most people didn't be on the shoulder. And so we'll take care of all that. All right. We'll make it look nice and clean. So that's one step. This of that lady dress. worked very hard. She put these little double turns so she wouldn't have a fraying around the sleeve. But it broke away here. Can you see that? What I'm going to do is trim it just slightly and use fray check. Yep. Because if I try to sew that, I am going to hurt it more than help it. I'll put a link in the description on fray check. And it happened again in another place on here. I'm not sure where it's at. And the same thing, I'll do the same thing. So she says she wants me to show you what, what I do and how I do it. No, I'm she. Shante. Okay. You remembered my name. Just a little. You got such flack for calling you that. Well, let's let's not go. Let's there. not go there. No. Okay. But that was in. Oh, I can't tell you when you were born. No. But that was a few decades. That was many decades. <laughs> that was many decades ago. Remember, I edit this. Oh, right. You do. Okay. So here we go. I love these scissors. We know that. And I love these scissors. Because do you see that they're bent? Mm. And you want to have a pair of scissors you only use on fabric. Stop waving my hand. I got it. I know I talk with my hands. Okay. It really helps, and I'll tell you why. Because she did, couldn't double roll here. And I have to remove all those little threads, right? Without getting near the, um, the actual stitching. And so when it's curled, like that or bent like that you can get close and you don't have to have as much fear that you are going to cut into any any of the actual fabric so i'm going to do that here all along the edge and then i'm going to do that she says i take too long uh, i'm going to do that like this now this is what i do with my fingers you see how nice and smooth that is here but then you find some loose threads here and there anyway you want to make sure that you do not cut your fabric. So you put your fingers on both sides and you just trim. That's it. What a difference a trim makes. <laughs> and so I'll continue to do that along this whole uh, slip before I throw it in the laundry. Okay. And I'll do that with the dress. I'll show, let's show it where she, they can actually see. See, if you don't do that, you see how that rolls up there, guys? It wants to get in the way of the scissors just to be, just to be miserable, <laughs> the fabric. So you push that fabric down and you grab it with your fingers and you just do that so your fabric can't get in your way and then cause you a hole that you have to repair. You see how it just wants to roll up? Okay. I'm you showing you. We got to move on to where we need to move on to. How are we going to make this much prettier than it is now? Well, okay. here are some of the trims that are small because you want to keep them in the size of your dolls. And we do not know how we're going to trim out this doll. And so we're going to go through these trims and pick out what we think would make this much prettier than it is now. 
mm -hmm. without taking off any of the lace because we want to keep its history. Right. You know, an interesting thing about these trims, we had, the reason we have these, these, um, molts, I guess, is because we bought them on them. And the <laughs> reason we bought them on them is because we had a Joanne Fabrics in our area go out of business. It sure did. And they had, I had an entire, um, row of trims all on these for 10 cents on the dollar. I can't tell you how much money we saved on these trims. We spent some, but we my goodness, did we save some. It was one tenth of the value. Right. And we bought them as is, and we bought them small mostly. We do have some wider ones because mm -hmm. we were making costumes for ourselves for the dance things that we went to. But most of them were bought for doll clothes, but we never got to the doll clothes. We hadn't met Tony yet. Right. So let's <laughs> figure out, let's keep, let's start trying one after okay. the other and see whether we think that they are good so, or not. So, like I said, that trim is staying on. It's not coming off. And we can lay this on and that's the front. What do you think? No. I, th I, th I think no too. Um, let's try the next one. The next one. Where's the end? There it is. For me, this is going to be white when so I'm done. So are you going to put any at the bottom or just there? Oh, no. I'm going to put in lots of places. Mm. Wherever it works. That would be kind of a two-tone. No. She thinks this is cream. I can see cream. <laughs> it hasn't been actually creamed yet. We'll see. That's cooking. We'll see. <laughs> Come on. Furnace. And <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. It will be white. Mm -hmm. I will eat crow if it's not white when I'm done. And this is a brocade. And I am, I just think. It's heavy. It's too heavy for this. It, in my opinion, I have used brocade on, but on heavier fabrics. This is a very light uh, cotton dotted Swiss. Okay, we'll see the next one. This is the top. It's one of my favorite trims. Hmm? Well, yeah. speak up. Well, I think it's kind of cute. You like that? I do. Okay, then it's on the list. It might grow on me. <laughs> well, I hope it doesn't grow on me. <laughs> My goodness. Let's see the last one. And this one we've used a couple of times recently. That worked out really, really well. But it's a good color to go with this. It's a really, really light, light, light green. Little daisies. Little, little daisies. That would give it some color. It would give it some color, yeah. So... I think it's between that one and the last one. My white's out the window? No. <laughs> Are you going to wash it before we put the trim on it? Yes, I'm going to oxyclean it and then iron it. Well, here we are. They have been oxycleaned for, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes? Something like that. And um, the water was brown, and I don't have to eat crow. <laughs> they're white. <laughs> well, they're more white. Oh, boy. Okay. Now, the next step, while they're wet, so, oh, everybody, if you've seen other videos, I, I uh, roll them up in a towel. No ringing. No, never actually, ring. what you need to do is back up. What? First of all, you put them in OxyClean. Oh, then I rinse the OxyClean off. Wait a minute. She puts them in OxyClean. Yes. And lets them sit there for 40, uh, half this hour, one's 45 half hour. minutes this time. This then time. you use soap and water, water to wash out the OxyClean. OxyClean. Then I use fabric softener mm -hmm. to finish it off. Yes. Then I roll them up in a towel. No ringing, please. Even though this particular fabric it wouldn't hurt it because it's a sturdy fabric. But there are so many vintage that are not sturdy. Never ring whether they're sturdy or not. Just roll them up and go, shh, 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 you know, mm -hmm. get the water out. And then the next step, if you have puff sleeves, see, no puff sleeves. But here we have puff sleeves. 
And so I've already puffed a puffed one, stuffed one. <laughs> I stuffed a puff. How's that? And so then I have this, just in my trusty bag. <laughs> I don't want to keep wasting whatever. We reuse a lot of things. We reuse things because, well, we just can't afford to buy new stuff. So what I did is I just went through and stretched, made sure that the washing didn't do anything. I haven't trimmed it yet. Uh, I was going to do it after I uh, iron it. So I just stretched this a little bit with my fingers because it tends to, you know, shrink up a little bit. And trusty iron. You and have a lot of trusty uh, supplies. I have a lot you? of trusty supplies. I count on them because, you see, if I didn't have things that worked, I couldn't do this even so. a little bit. If you've seen our videos before, you have heard this before. Right. But if you've never seen any of our videos, this is a low heat iron from Joanne Fabrics. And I will leave a link in the description on where you can get one. It has no adjust. It just has one setting, which is you turn it on. <laughs> right. And she's going to continue to iron. And iron. This is wet. That's, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, but, it it, but, it, but it was, the, most of the water was taken out in the, in the towel. But I want it this way because a lot of these vintage, just spray, if to use steam or use, first of all, you're playing around with hot or heat and, and you don't want to do that. And um, so you can see, I want to go back. And these fabrics need more and a lot more water and you need a lot more ironing if you want to get the results, at least that I want to get. Okay, so she's going to continue ironing, and we will be back in Well, a here the dress is. It's all ironed, and the sleeves are stuffed. That is ironing, because it's really hard to iron a puff sleeve. Well, that's your form of ironing That's my form sleeve. of ironing, ironing a puff sleeve. Wait a minute. Hang on. What? There's something else in the frame. What? Ears. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I have a lap full. <laughs> two tucks. Okay, so we're going to shoot a little higher. Oh, one's leaving. Um, we we were going to decide between two trims, between that trim and between this trim, which is a little bit more subtle. And we decided to make it a little bit more fancy. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use this trim. Okay. On the dress, the bodice, and the slip. All right, let's go sew. So let's now I'm sew. getting ready to put the trim on the slip. Now... Because the snap is there, I'm going to start on this side of the snap. And because the, this is white, the slip, and this is pink, the top thread is going to be pink, and the bottom thread will be white. So when you won't see pink on the other side, you'll see white, and you'll see pink on this side. And you're not going to pin it first. Of course. No. Nah, sorry. No. <laughs> and the reason I don't do that is because the pins cause me more trouble than uh, for this type of thing. I want to adjust this so I have, uh, it's not, it goes where I want it to go. Now I'm going to stick my thumb in the back because these things can throw you off, these um, bumps. So I got my finger on the back and I want some of the uh, lace or white trim to be seen. And you're going to do that on the dress, too. On the dress as well. Well, here are the vintage clothes. Did you say vintage or finished? <laughs> I, I tried to say vintage. Oh, well, I think they're finished. And they're finished. <sighs> so here's the back side where we, we trimmed. Well, bring it over here, hon. Where we trimmed mm -hmm. and looked for anything that needed yeah, repair. Yeah, but let's see the trim. I didn't even get to see the trim. Oh. So I'll lay that down, and there is the trim. Hold up the sleeve so we can see the so up middle. The there we go. Very sweet. So that's that, and here is her slip. That made quite a difference. And you can see there's no pink thread on the inside because we used the bobbin thread as white. And here's always the slip we include with our dolls we sew to keep that poofiness. Mm -hmm. Give it a little lift. Give it a little lift, yes. See? Okay, let's move on to her hair. Now, we move well, on to this is hair. our little ball-headed walkers. 
wig that we showed you. You can see how lovely it is on the inside. Well, it's the last time we're going to see it. Oh, yes. Because it's about gold. to be glued to her head. It's about to be glued to her head. And I'm going to remove the curlers because with the sugar grip glue. You mean before you put it on her head? Yes, and I can't see that. It must be on the other side of the board. Anyway, yes, I'm going to remove the curlers because when you put the sheer grip, you want to put pressure. You just... And you don't want to put it on curlers? I can't really do what I need to do when curlers are in my way. Okay, we'll <laughs> take one out and then we'll see you take them out faster. Okay, so this is the front. Because oh. this is a new one. We've never done this before. We've never done what? Taken curlers out of a wig. Well, we've taken curlers out many times, but, but it's just I mean, attached off, to a doll. <laughs> well, I'm talking about the fact that it's not attached to a doll's head. Well, it's not a whole lot different. It's maybe easier to, to take it out if it's attached to the doll. I don't know. All right, well, we're going to see it go faster. So this is her double stitch. So that means that's the front of her wig. This is the front of her wig. We have no idea what her style is going to be. Oh, there's paper. Uh, it will be some way. We just don't know. We never know when, when we're doing these things. We never know what's going to happen until it happens. <laughs> well, I think we should put that back on her. Well, not back. We should put that on her head for the, for the first time because, you know, she's going from a brunette to a blonde. We never asked her if it was all right. No. She didn't have a choice. I think, though, that she would rather have a hair than not. I think she would rather have hair or not, but I do not know if she's happy about blonde. Well, we'll have to just see how she reacts. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you can get a doll to react, that'll be a new one. I don't know. Sometimes after you're done working on a doll, they seem happier. It's all an illusion, right? Well, here she <laughs> is. She's been waiting in the bathtub the whole time. That was a very long tub. <laughs> that really was. So we're going to remove her little turban. Doing a little hair transplant. And this is going to be <laughs> her hair. And what we'll do is I'll take this. I need to see the front, hon. I'm trying to find the front. This instant, you can see I use it, uh, instant grip. You can get this at Dolls Part, and I'm going to put it It says in, Dolls Part right here, but I need a magic. It's dollspart.com, and I'm going to put in a link in the description. I think it says Bono up here. Well, it does there, but it actually doesn't say that anymore at, this, at the... Oh, really? No. Okay. Anyway, I use this because... Uh, I'm going to go where, follow her head. We mean where the, where the original glue was. Right, where the original glue was. And I'm going to put a thin layer of this on it. Okay, let's see you do it. You want to see me do it? Mm-hmm. Okay. At least we're going to start it. Okay, let's see what we got. I'm running out, so I have to, uh, which way was the bottle laying? So what I'll do is just do this. I got a little bit up there. I'm not sure. I had the bottle laying down so that I could grab this much. And I just put a thin coat on. That's all I do. Are you going to put it all over her head? All over her head. And you don't have to worry about it drying too quick. As far as I'm going to do her entire head before I put the wig on. And then I'll hold it down just a little bit for a while and uh, till it grips. Okay, Let's, well, you continue to spread the glue and then we'll come back and see her all glued. Well, here she is okay. with the sheer grip on her. I don't know exactly how this wig is going to fit, but we will find out. I might have to add some glue. Uh, don't but know. didn't you just say that they wanted to tell everybody that this although it's white right now. Oh, yes. It looks like facial cream all over her face. It tries to her head. 
Oh, that's right. Well, facial cream is white. They put it on your face. But um, I said it looks like that, only it's on her head. But actually, it dries clear. Okay. Let's see the wig. And I just don't want any hair in that. Let me get that little. There we go. Oh, I think you got. I have to get hair. There you go. Where's the wig? There it goes. Is it where I want it? Well, good grief. It is. <laughs> It's perfect. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be doing for a few minutes anyway. I can adjust that. No, it's fine. I don't need to. Okay. So I'm a little Miss America here. She's just going to so, sit here with me <laughs> before we ever attempt so, to give her a do. So, honey, what? she went from Jane Russell to Marilyn Monroe. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, Jane Russell had really dark she hair. She had really dark hair. And, and then Marilyn Monroe. Monroe. I think we're going to call her Marilyn. I liked Marilyn. So do I. I think that we got our little, look at all those beautiful light curls. I think we got ourselves a little Marilyn Monroe. That'll do. Wow, here she is with her wig on. I was going to say that. Oh, you were going to say that? Okay. Rory whined. But I don't know. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> well my goodness it looks like her wig is glued down it's drying i think i did it better you did what better the intro yeah oh of course you would do it better <gasps> yeah i okay. fumble i fumble through everything but so, anyway, yeah let's i see. gotta say something though she what? does have a little bit of resemblance to Marilyn Monroe. i told you i was right but when we put on that 1950s little girl dress i don't think it's gonna work well, it won't be a Maryland dress, but it's going to be absolutely adorable. Let's give her a spin. Does anybody see want to see? Lovely we little are leg. actually training her hair. Yep. It's amazing the way that uh, nylon does this. But yeah, overnight, it will stay down where it was kind of asked to go. We ask it to do a certain thing with these clips. <laughs> and it says, okay. <laughs> I think that was a good idea. So I think I'll stay there. <laughs> okay, so uh, her her hair is glued down. It's being, it's in the stages of being trained. <laughs> yes, and we're going to see her after with all that. Mm -hmm. With all this beautiful, uh, the only thing that I haven't found or know what I'm going to put is on her feet yet. Uh, well, I think we'll see tomorrow. Yeah, I just I'll figure it out. I usually do. Okay, so let's go see her all done. Okay. Well, I would say that is definitely an after. It's an improvement. <laughs> Just an improvement? <laughs> it's an improvement. <laughs> well, I think it's night and day. Well, that's relative to one's perspective, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really think that she looks absolutely fantastic in her little pink dress. These are little garters. Because the vintage socks kind of splay at the top. Yeah. And I decided I didn't like that anymore. <laughs> so I, made, I made some little elastic garters to go around her socks. <laughs> so let's spin her around and see that beautiful little Marilyn hairdo. Yep. Those clips did their job. I don't know why that happens, but it does. <laughs> it's staying where we put it. She has her one-piece slip. Uh-huh. And then she has, of course, my added to keep that poof. And her panties are ribbon panties. Wow. Um, see the ribbon panties? Lovely. Well, it looks to me oh, like she's got a bracelet. Oh, well, yeah, okay. She has one of my bracelets. But it looks to me like maybe Grandma got her an outfit for Easter. At Christmas. Looks like it. It's cheaper that way. <laughs> <laughs> get it ahead of time it's cheaper uh, and it looks like she even got herself a little hand-painted lamb she did so 
This little girl got Easter for Christmas. She did. <laughs> and I bet you can't wait till Easter to wear it. <laughs> I bet you can't. Well, um, I hope everybody enjoyed this video. And just to um, tell you again, this is going to be our last video of this length for a while. Uh, we will be putting up some minute before and afters mm -hmm. and some a little longer. Three to uh, fives. Yeah. But uh, we need a little bit of rest. So um, we will. Uh, you will be seeing some of our videos, but they're just not going to be as long. Yes. Uh, we want to say uh, welcome to anyone who is new. And we really appreciate all of you that have been I, watching our videos and, and supporting and, us and in, well we're really happy that they're you're enjoying them um so if you like this we'd love a like if you haven't subscribed yet and you like this video you might want to subscribe we want to wish everybody a happy holidays merry christmas and a very blessed new year bye everybody oh wait a minute i'm so sorry i forgot you did. I did. <laughs> For once, it wasn't me that forgot. It was you. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Do it, honey. Just remember, it is possible to do it yourself. Yes. God bless. Bye, everybody. <laughs>